Faith lies in the space of the honesty and the truth of what should not be able to be. It, it, faith isn't the fact that we become uneducated or we just throw all things to the wind. No, we recognize that there are some things that we just can't do. There's some things that are completely beyond our ability. There's some things that are completely beyond us. And then it is in that recognition that we know, but there are some things that, and in fact, let me say that back. There are not some things. There are some things that are beyond us, but there is nothing that is beyond him. you do it but I know that you can and I'm gonna ask that you ain't got to show up you don't have to break protocol you don't have to do something that you don't want to do for me can you speak it for him Jesus looks back at those who are following him and says I've never seen faith like this in all of Israel why is it that this Roman soldier could believe in such a way that all of his disciples couldn't believe. Now, come on, you would think, let's, let's just be honest, let's be, be honest. You would think, I've walked with you for some time now. I've seen you work. I'm privy to the scriptures. I know what I should be able to expect. Surely then, you're telling me that all of those things build for greater abilities of faith. The difference for the Roman officer is he didn't come in with any pretension. He didn't come in with any entitlement. He came in knowing the full depravity of who he was. And his depravity allowed him to better glimpse the fullness of who God was. Hear this, hear this. We miss faith in an amazing God because we too much believe in our own amazement. All right. All right. All right. Can you imagine what our church would feel like if we constantly walked in the knowledge that nothing is impossible for him? That all of a sudden we start expecting things that look a little different, not because we're so good, but because we know we have a God that nothing is impossible for him. All of a sudden when we're confronted with challenges, we don't worry about it. We acknowledge it, but we know that nothing is impossible for him. And that when, we, when the enemy wants to come and try to shake us off our barrier, we stand back up and say, ain't nothing impossible for him. I think it's in those moments that God does amazing things, blesses us, transforms us, and then we are allowed to see all the things that God has already done. He's done great things. He's done great things. He's done great things.